Hey everyone, this is your girl Jasmine Woods. I would just come to you guys with a short, short video. Um, series is gonna be short this today because I'm on my way to work and I just want to drop in and give you guys a quick video. Uh, could you guys something quick? I'm about to uh, dress, about to get dressed and wash up, get dressed, and go straight to work. But I just want to drop in. And say good morning. Thank you God for another day. Thank you God for opening my eyes up to see this beautiful day. Thank you Lord for another chance. Thank you Lord for just everything and for everybody. But last night I had, it was like very, very late. Or very, very early in the morning where I had introduced, uh, told you guys about my new series segment that I'm doing on my YouTube channel, and it's uh, going to be focused on singleness and maybe some other topics, but mostly it's going to be focused on singleness because that's what a lot of us are dealing with. And then it's like, and what crazy about it is, when you're going through singleness, you think you're the only one who's single, but when you, well, every, but you know, because you know you only like you only because so it's so it's sort of like you being self-centered because you don't think about other folks. Who are going through singleness as well. But you are just mostly so obsessed with your own singleness. That that's all you focus on. And I have to realize that I'm not the only one who's single. It's other people who are single. So. And I have, and in the world. And then to be honest. At first it was only feel like I'm single. Like God what's up. I'm the only person that's single. But when I, would look, but when I actually look. And you know just look. And just see that. And see for what things for what it is. It's a lot of people that's single, and just because people are in a relationship, don't mean they're happy. Don't mean they're married. Cause some of them are doing, you know, are. If you're not married, that means you are sinning. So, I'm not jealous of that type of relationship. I want to be married. I want to be holy. Ghost. I want to. I want to. I want a Holy Ghost filled marriage. I want a God centered marriage. I want a God led, God directed, God centered, everything about God when it comes to my relationship, my next relationship. If it's if it's one if you know if it's meant for me to have another one. If it's not, then I trust God that I, I'm strong enough. I'm trusting God that I'm strong enough to, you know, be in this world by myself because not everybody needs someone anyway. So if I'm if God think I'm strong enough to live in this world single by myself, then that means I am. Even though it's going to be hard, even though it's it's hard, it's going to be hard. Even though it's going to be challenging, because I still want a friend on this earth. I still want that one person to where I can just tell everything to. I can hang around anytime I get, you know, I can hang with him or her. Well, I can hang with him. I most I mostly want to, cause like I said, I want to, I want to, I want. A man. Well, I don't say a man, just a man. I want a man of God. I want somebody who's God fearing. I want somebody who takes his time to get to know me and takes his time to get to know, that knows me through God. And he see the woman of God in me, even if I'm not perfect. I'm not a perfect example of what a woman of God should be, but he sees that in me anyway. I want somebody who sees past all my flaws and just sees me. And you know, I I'm just re now when I originally. Thought about the type of man that I want. I was just thinking of this long, long list. But nothing on that list has something to do with how he treat me and how he see me. So I'm doing mental revisions to what I'm asking God for. And besides the things that I want in a husband or, you know, in my next relationship, I'm asking God what I should need and what I should want and, you know, such. But anyway, you guys... Just know that you are not alone. I'm in the fight too. And there's some people that could say, well, you're you. I'm me. Type of attitude. Of course, you'll be single, but I should have a man by now. Okay, then. If that's how you feel, then whatever. But obviously, you don't have one. So, just like I don't. So, we're in this, like we're in, we in this together. There's no whatever. But, you guys, I just want to tell you guys to to stay strong. And that this journey is only, we need to learn how to embrace our singleness. We need to learn how to embrace the waiting season because 
the waiting season, you get to learn you. You get to learn God. You get to explore things and stuff. You need, you get to prepare yourself for God's next assignment for your life. And um, and like I can say it's going it's a lot of things that we should be focusing on in our waiting season other than us being lonely and single and and everybody while everybody else is getting married and booed up, we're just sitting here like Okay, when is our time? But at the same time, we're looking at singleness and waiting and, and the waiting season in a wrong way. When well, we should be embracing it because when other because I was saying this because as a single woman, because when when is the another when are, when are you gonna have another time? We are gonna have time in your marriage. We are gonna have time. And when you start to build like if again if God gives you a husband, you guys have a family and you have a beautiful marriage and such and such, and then you look back in your marriage and you look back on yourself like, I wish I would have took my waiting season my waiting season seriously to get to know myself, get to know me, get to know how are you gonna have time to do that when if you're already married and such. So that's why I want to embrace. Uh, my my waiting season, cause I don't know if maybe God might not give me a husband. He maybe he give me something better than a husband. Maybe he give me uh he he shoots my ministry to another level, and then another level, then another level, and just not just because I'm lonely don't mean uh, I actually need another human in my life. Maybe I just want I just need more of God. So uh, I just want to encourage you guys to stay strong. I know this season is like. This wait season is probably you find you might feel like it's the worst season ever, but at the same time it's for our good. And if you know the true loving God that He would never withhold anything that's good for us. So I just want to tell you guys to embrace this season and love God and continue to trust Him. Bye.